Okay, so stepping inside, They've obviously done some updates since 1970, because that's when this was built. I would assume that this is a kitchen maybe out of the 90s, maybe? It's got uh, melamine cabinets um, and a newer uh, top to it. The... <laughs> The uh, stove and the fridge are certainly not new, but I mean, you can assume this, this uh, place has actually been winterized. It's shut down. So there is no electricity in here at the moment. Uh, so I can't even test like the toilet and the sink and whatnot for running water and stuff. Uh, but you are on uh, municipal water and sewer. So it's not like you have to worry about a well or a septic. They have, obviously this wouldn't have been drywalled back in the day because this all would have been paneling. So they have done drywall on the surrounding walls and done some crown moldings. This would be original, however, the, uh, the ceilings. And I can see that there was a patch that was done here. I'm not sure if that's because there was maybe a wall here or something at the time, or if there was actually an issue. One thing about mobile homes is that there is no attic access. The only thing you have is access through the eaves and it's way too small for anybody to get into. So you can't really tell what's going on in the attic. There is um, a slight smell and I'm not sure if it's just because it's not lived in or if there is actually uh, some damage maybe in, in uh, with the... Um, insulation that maybe has accumulated some moisture and stuff. I, I can't say that for sure. Windows have definitely been changed out. This is a picture window, but it is PVC, where it would have been wood in 1971. And I don't know if this is just a really poor job that was done when they changed out the window, or if there was actually a leak at one time, but there is some extra putty right above that. Uh, the other thing that's interesting is that this looks to be a brand new baseboard, but it's not plugged in. There's no connection to it anywhere. So you would definitely have to have that done. Uh, looks like a window air conditioner here for the summertime, which is good. They've taken the um, screen off of this window, which is a good thing in the winter time because you do get uh, build up here. And again, because it's a mobile home, 99.99% uh, .99 chance that it is sitting on blocks. And with that, you're gonna have heaving and uh, settling through the season and you can certainly feel it right now so I'm at a high point here and as I walk towards the kitchen I'm definitely going down super common in um, in mobile homes it's something that you just have to adjust for and rebalance uh, you know every couple of years so this door is not too bad it is uh, looks like a metal door with a decent window in it this looks like there had been uh, they, they look like the peel and stick, but they, I could be wrong. They could be the click flooring and it obviously, um, has been built up because you see it was built up over here, which and in there as well as that vinyl click flooring. And then it definitely, you have a step down into the first room here. First room is where you have your hot water tank and the hot water tank is from 2018 rented with NB power. So you're looking at about $7 a month in rental fees for that. The nice thing about it is that if there is a problem, they will come and repair or replace. You should have had, and I don't know why they didn't do it, there should have been a pan underneath there in case there is spillage, but the reality is if there is a spill, it's gonna go over the pan anyway. But uh, washer and dryer, again, I can't really test to see if they work because there is no power. And the floor has been taken off. It was a cushion floor and they took it off, so there may have been some issue in here at one time, maybe some rot, and they've replaced it with newer plywood because this does look like newer plywood and they just didn't put the new floor down. And there's some pecs here as well. So they've run some new plumb plumbing lines. Um, you can see pecs all the way along here, I'm assuming going into the uh, kitchen area. There is a heater here, but it's a plug-in heater. It's not one that's hardwired. I don't know if they were like in the process of doing renovations and either ran out of money or if something happened. Uh, you have a closet here, which is a decent size. It even looks like there's a, a light inside of that and a plug inside of that. So it looks like this closet may have been made afterwards. It may not have had a closet, which is not atypical. Um, 
no fixtures you can see there. These are small fixes. You know, it's $30,000. You got to remember, you can't get a car for $30,000 anymore. Uh, this is, uh, would be a original wood window. Just letting you know that, although they, it does not look like there's really an issue. It's a double pane and they did leave the screen on this side. Head down the hall to the bathroom. Now, unfortunately, because there's no power, I don't know how well you're going to be able to see, but here is your vanity with your lights above it. And there does look like there is a fan. Hopefully it's vented to outside. And the bathroom has had, that would have been changed out at a certain time because that certainly would not have been the original sink. Uh, and then you have your surround in it as well. Now, the only thing here that I'm confused about is that, and I don't think you can see it, but there's an actual electrical wire um, that's running. Oh, no, it looks like an extension cord. And actually, actually, I see it there. So it's plugged in here, and I don't know where that's going to. Uh, we'll have to see if we can figure out where that's going to. But you probably shouldn't have an electric cord, electrical cord in your bathroom. And then, so this is the rest of the bathroom. It's got the original paneling, which has been painted. And obviously a newer mirror that would have been put in probably as they were doing renovations. Hi, Tegan. Hi, Sean. <laughs> And then uh, coming down the hall here, you have your two bedrooms. So again, you have a little bit, it, it, so at some point they put a subfloor in um, and then an extra subfloor when you got into the living room area, as you can see down there. But now we're going down to the regular level here. And I'm not sure, this is obviously divided that it would have been uh, two bedrooms at one time and they took down some of the wall, not all of the wall, between the two. Now, this baseboard is connected from what I can see. And so this becomes bedroom number one and you have, this is what you would have seen in the original place with the original paneling, as you can see. And because there's two lights here and there's two light switches, it tells me that they have done some reconfiguration in here. There was either a, a wall there and there was no closet here and that was part of a bedroom on the other side or there was an awfully small bedroom uh, in here. Wiring looks original from what I can see because that definitely looks like the original wiring. Uh, Tegan, I mentioned that to you. My only concern with that would be with regards to insurance. Uh, a lot of the insurance companies will not do full coverage on a mobile home that is older than 25 years old, unless there have been major updates. Uh, you may be able to get it if you had an electrician come in and sign off to say that everything is good on it. Or you may, as I was talking about earlier, might want to just look at doing uh, content insur insurance, at least for the time being. You're not legally required to have it, but it is a good idea so you don't lose your stuff if anything happens. So, bedroom at the base, at uh, the back here. This was a laminate floor, one of the probably original laminate floors that would have come out in the 90s. And um, i not sure that the person who installed it really knew how to do it properly because there's quite a bit of spacing in it. But on the good news side, none of the rooms are huge. So if you want to put in a new floor, it's not going to cost you an arm and a leg. Um, and they did drywall in here, change of the drywall. They, that's a newer light fixture. Uh, they do have crown molding in here, which is kind of surprising. And then you have your closet here. I wanted to see, so that's open. Hmm. I'm gonna just go into the hallway for a second here to see if there's another closet here where this is. Okay, so what is open is the closet from this bedroom. You can see through to the other side there. So that's what that is. And then you have your required second exit, which is here. So now that we've seen the inside, let's go take a look at the outside. And this is depressing because as soon as um, spring arrived on the calendar, we've had nothing but cold weather and snow. So it does not really look much like spring at this point. We had uh, probably 15 to 20 centimeters of snow last night. Sorry, I'm just locking up the door here. Okay, so you have a little deck when you first get outside and uh, it seems to be pretty good, it's pretty solid. And they actually have a ramp here 
for coming up on that side and then you have stairs which have not been uh, cleared out yet you do have a little shed at the back which is always nice and a platform to get into that second entrance at the back which is very important uh i'm gonna guess that this is probably the original siding but i could be wrong it may have changed at some point um but they've put in some vinyl to break it up underneath the windows it might have been back in the day that might have actually been like a, a cedar shake you used to see that on some of the uh, models of uh, mini homes you can see that the uh, bracing is still there and I'm assuming that it probably would have been wood under here at one time so they've changed out the soffits underneath now I ha I do notice and I'm not sure if you can see this if you follow the roof line over there there seems to be a little bit of a dip and I don't know if that's um, I'm not sure if that's just a play or if there is actually a dip there just based on uh, the way that the uh, trim work was done because it does look like almost it's wider there than it is over there but I mean it's definitely something you'd want to have taken a look at in, in a case like this I think it's probably worth the um, the five or six hundred dollars to have an inspector go through it the only problem is if there's no access to the underside of it i mean it looks like they did put something here at one time that looks like rivets um, that keep it keep it inaccessible but it would be kind of nice to have a good idea of what the deal is again going back to the limitations of an inspector he can't uh get into an attic if there's no access he can't really see much on a roof if there's snow on it and if he can't get into the uh, under part of it he's not going to be able to tell you if it's insulated uh, if it's sitting on blocks if it's uh, sitting on pillars or what the deal is there so uh, I will circle around and just kind of show you so you do see some there's been some renovations done to some of the little uh, mobile homes here but uh, some of them are completely original and have probably been here since the park opened back in the 70s i.e. this one right here that actually it's abandoned obviously because there's not even a paved driveway going into it the windows are boarded up so there you go I'll send it to you we'll have a chat